Vanessa Wheeler here again with Premier Guitar. Before you do anything else, don't forget to like and subscribe below. Today we are looking at an all-new five-mode flange pedal that also achieves lush near chorus-like sounds, woozy phase-like effects, beautiful vibrato, and some of the most cinematic flange tones you'll hear. It is the Aurora by Spaceman Effects. Let's check it out. The modulation bus of the Aurora consists of three types of modulation. Two LFO modes, two tape modes, and one unswept comb filtering mode. With the volume knob here, unity gain is roughly at noon, and a moderate boost of 6 dB is possible at maximum. The mix knob allows you to fully control the wet-dry blend. The regem knob feeds a portion of the output signal back into the input for exaggerated resonant robotic or swooshy effects. The mode knob gives you five modulation modes. The width knob is the main depth control of the modulation. It sets how wide the sweep is by controlling how much of the tonal delay time is modulated. The rate up knob controls the speed of the modulation in LFO 1 and tape 1 modes. In LFO 2 and tape 2 modes, it controls the rise time. It also sets the static delay time in the comb filter mode. The range with the arrow pointed downward controls which portion of the delay time is modulated in LFO 1 and tape 1 modes. In LFO 2 and Tape 2 modes, it controls the fall time of the modulation. It also sets a secondary static delay time in the comb filter mode. The Trig foot switch is a multifunction foot switch for use with the modulation bus. LFO 1 mode produces a triangle wave shape that is ideal for traditional flanger effects at lower speeds and provides lush chorus and phasing effects at moderate speeds. In the first example, I'm playing that chorus effect that's kind of teetering on the edge of flange. Still in LFO 1 mode, in the next example, I'm achieving a vibrato vinyl type sound by maxing out the mix knob. Let's check it out. I'm in tape one mode and as both tape modes indicate you're able to achieve uh, tape like flange from tape machines. Um, in this example I'm getting a very metallic like tone by cranking the regen knob. I really dig how it adds a steel drum like character to staccato notes and how it thickens up big open chords. Let's take a listen to that. Next up, I'm in LFO2 mode, taking advantage of the rise and fall times. It's very touch sensitive and you kind of play off the up and down cyclical nature of this sound. It's super fun to mess around with on guitar, but I can also see a world in which it's really effective on drums, let's say. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
in tape two mode, I'm employing a very jangly sound that I'm fond of. It adds uh, even more openness to open chords because in my mind, it sounds a lot like a synthetic 12 string. Uh, there's something synthesizer-like to it, which is very characterful. Uh, let's check that out. filter mode I'm achieving a similar metallic tone to the tape one mode but I've got the mix down and there's something that sounds much more creaky and worn uh, again with a lot of the sounds uh, in the Aurora it's just full of character and adds a like fresh new perspective on something that would ordinarily just be like pretty chords let's check that out <laughs> Flange is one of those sounds that can easily overwhelm. What I really like about the Aurora is that the mix knob is super tweakable and lends itself to really both ends of the spectrum, um, which is what you want, I think, in flange. You don't want it to just sit somewhere in the middle and completely overwhelm a track or your tone. You want to employ it subtly or you want to employ it towards like, uh, you know, spacey cinematic effects. And I think this pedal does that really well. Uh, it adds on the subtle end a lot of character, vibe, uh, it can take something really normal and pretty and add a certain like grunginess or wooziness to it. For example with the vibrato or turning the mix knob down for something that would ordinarily just be like kind of metallic clang um, and just thicken the sound and, and give it a lot of like interesting overtones. And on the other end, you have the potential for very cinematic space-like tones, which makes me think exactly of when Neo is first entering the Matrix. So with that, I have been Vanessa with a first look at the Aurora by Spaceman FX, here with Premiere Guitar, and I will see you next time.